Hello filmmakers, it's Carrie with Filmmaker Central and I've got an interesting one today based on a question from somebody and that was, can you use the depth map to do rotoscoping? Well, you see this is the, that same clip that we're working with here. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, I actually rotoscoped with it. Now it's not perfect because I just did it really quick to prove the concept here. But how do we do that? Let's copy this. We'll paste it over. We'll go to our color tab. Oh, I made this a compound clip. So I need to decompose that in place. And we'll go to color and we'll get rid of that. Okay, so here's our original clip and we're going to go to our depth map and drag that into place. Now we want to invert this. And now before I did that, notice there's some white in here and there's a little bit darker in here. So that's telling me that there's a depth going on right there. And so I want to make sure that I push that distance out because as I move my hand back, it's going to go out of that first plane and it may disappear. So this is where you really want to fine tune this map to get it as good as possible. And it's already on better. So I'm going to try some isolation. I'll maybe try and increase my tolerance there. Okay, now that looks a lot more solid. And I may soften that up a bit. And then some post processing. Probably going to add not much, just, just a little bit of blur in there. Okay, now I'm going to invert it and remove the preview. Okay, so now what we need to do is have the transparency. Well, right, this is what you're looking for, this blue dot right here. Now that's the alpha channel. If you don't have that, you're gonna right click in the area and say add an alpha output, and that's gonna add that blue dot right there. So from there, we're gonna go from the blue square over to the blue dot, boom. All right, now since we're still on the depth map and we have it exactly opposite from what we want, well, we just invert that. And we have a rotoscope. Now there's some haloing around the head here, and this is where you're just going to get into playing with the settings. Play with the target depth, okay? That's not it. Play with the tolerance. You know? Is the tolerance going to get you where you want? Okay, probably not. Is the softness going to be there? Um, let's try contracting it a little bit. Okay, all right. That made a nice difference. So we can contract a little bit, maybe add a little more blur, add some post filter. Now, this is not going to play back well. This is a M1, uh, MacBook Pro M1 Max with 64 gigs of RAM, and this is not going to play. It, it absolutely will not play in real time. Say, not going to happen. But for me to, like, show it to you, I'm going to put them together. I'm going to say new co compound clip, and go up to clip, and say render cache color output. Now that's going to start rendering it to the disk so that it will then play back smoothly. Now this will take a moment or so before it's ready to play. But this is kind of cool that we can actually use distance information, depth information within a, a clip that we didn't really have before to isolate an object or a person or something and rotoscope them. Now, I don't know if you'll ever be able to get this exactly perfect. Um, 
in terms of the rotoscoping quality, but maybe for something quick, something dirty, uh, maybe it'll work, maybe it won't. Uh, we're just gonna have to play around with it and see how good we can manipulate those controls to get where we want. And maybe it's a combination of things. But as a quick and simple test, let's, uh, let's go over here, let's go full screen. Okay, so they're seeing there's some artifacting. I'm losing my glasses a little bit. And like, look at my hand. There's some issues there. But overall, that was actually pretty good. It's, it was better than I expected. So can you use the depth map for rotoscoping? And the answer is yes but is it any good? And that is where we're going to have to spend more time. But I hope this answered the question. I hope it gets you thinking about what you can do with the depth map and get you experimenting. And hopefully if someone comes up with some really good settings or some, some tips for it, be sure and let everyone know because this is some really cool revolutionary stuff and maybe it'll just have to wait for another update to it, but pretty cool stuff. This has been Kerry with Filmmaker Central. Thanks for watching everybody. I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.